Hey everybody, this is Wheelock Alarms, and this is going to be a test of my Simplex 4004 fire alarm system. I apologize for the video taking so long to upload. I only anticipated on taking about a week from the time that I made the CH70 test video to the time that I made this video. But because of work and the fact that I'll be starting a new job here soon, I had to go do some testing and interviews and stuff like that. Uh, that kind of held me up a little bit. So let's start with the control panel. I got this panel off eBay and I bought it from Dan, also known as Black Maxima here on YouTube. And uh, he had pulled it himself out of a bar. And uh, I found out that Dan lives about an hour and a half away from me. So I did a local pickup, got to meet Dan, talked with him for about 45 minutes about uh, fire alarm systems and stuff like that. Uh, and picked up the panel. When I did pick up the panel, he told me there was two problems. First thing was the plastic around this terminal is a little broken, but that's alright. And he said something about this relay sticking, but I've had no problems whatsoever with it. Also, he forgot to uh, throw battery cables in with it, so he shipped those to me a short time later. You will see that the dialer is here. It's hooked up, but there's no telephone line hooked in, so there's a comm trouble. And I also have both of the zone cards, so this is an 8 zone control panel, which is awesome. Uh, the only thing I'd like to add to it soon is an enunciator card if I can find one reasonably priced. You see that all my wiring uh, pretty much goes through this conduit. We'll get to that in a minute. This conduit here, which as you'll see I've mounted some strut. And up here there's also strut. It goes up to this smoke detector. And if we step back, you'll get a look at how the conduit is now. There used to be a 4-inch square electrical box right there. And then from there the conduit basically ran over and down. Well, you'll see now that it goes up. All the conduits are supported. Once again, once it gets up on the ceiling, it's supported. And I still need to get this mounted up here, but that will be there eventually. It then goes into an 8 by 8 by 4 pull box. And then there's three three-quarter inch conduits, two of which go straight over to the closet. The third one comes over here to a Wheelock SBB-R deep fire alarm back box. And a system sensor P2415 15 candela horn strobe. And then down here I have a 2099-9754 pull station. You'll see that there's quite a bit of conduit bends, 90s, offsets. Um, this was a pretty difficult piece to bend. Everything had to be dead on. Uh, all my measurements had to be good. Uh, there's two 90s and then a half inch offset. And the thing is with one inch conduit it costs seven something for a ten foot stick. So basically I had two attempts at making this bend. Uh, or else I'd have to go get another stick of conduit. Half inch isn't quite as bad. Um, but still... There's no reason that people should be bending conduit incorrectly. If you're going to be bending it, just do it right, so that way you don't got to worry about buying extra conduit. There is a half-inch conduit here for power, but it's not going to anything at this time. This will eventually go up to an emergency light uh, and or exit sign. And someday I might use it also to get power over to this junction box, which is for a sequencer for my traffic lights. Out here, a couple things have changed. First of all, the BG-10L is gone. There's three reasons for that. Number one, I bought this pull station for a really good deal off eBay. And it came with the back box and all. This is a BG-12LOB, by the way. L standing for key lock. O means there's a gasket behind it. And B meaning that it is mounted to this SBIO back box and it is fully weatherproof. First of all, I got a good deal on this. Second of all, I wanted to get a BG-12 in here. I did have a BG-12, but there was a couple of things wrong with it. The tab up here is broke, which isn't a real big deal. And some of the lettering was starting to uh, fade away. I wanted to get a new one, so I got a good deal on this. And uh, the third reason this went up is because when I 
Removed the BG-10, I originally only intended on just putting this pull station onto the SB-10 back box. But uh, when I removed the BG-10, one of the wires on the switch broke. So I just decided then to put the SBIO back box up and just uh, have it like this, which I think it looks awesome. Unlike the BG-10 and the SBIO, this is curved. Uh, it's not a big square thing. I think it looks a lot better that way. And then up here we have a very rare alarm. What in the world is that? This is a System Sensor P1224MCSPW. Yeah, that's a heck of a model number, isn't it? Let's come in here and look at the box, if you don't believe me. Sorry about the shakiness. It's kind of hard to hold a Galaxy S4 in your hand with one hand. But, uh, why am I turning lights off? Anyways... This is a multi candela horn strobe with Spanish lettering and it's also white in color which white spectra alerts weren't quite as common. I wouldn't want to say they're rare but uh, they're certainly harder to get than the red ones. So anyways both the spectra alerts have been pretty much staying in sync when I've been testing them so uh, the system is coding them to code 3. Uh, let's go ahead and pull it. Acknowledge. Alarm silence. The strobes will continue to flash. Since these are hooked up for four wire operation. And you'll see now that the strobes have gotten out of sync. But uh, anyways, by the way, that's set for 110 candela, which that's actually a very bright strobe. Um, ouch. Oh, crap. Okay. Fire light key. This ring in my hand is fire alarm keys. This is elevator keys, by the way. And here's basically an explanation of uh, how it gets the model number BG12LOB. And you see everything in the basement right now is just completely discombobulated and needs cleaned up. Acknowledge. What am I doing? Reset. This takes about 10 seconds. And that's it. Now, as far as the Spectre Alerts go, I am selling about 10 of them on eBay right now. I have all kinds of different ones. This one's not for sale. Please do not ask. But I will show you guys the ones here I'll be keeping. First of all is the Spanish uh, horn strobe you just saw. Next is this speaker strobe. I might sell this a little later, but for now I'm going to keep it. Uh, this is a... SP2R2415. Uh, it has a fixed 15 candela strobe, which I don't really like. And also, I don't think it has the snap lock feature either. Uh, let's just pop it open and take a look. Oh, I guess it does. But uh, at this time, this is not for sale. I got two of these, so I'm going to be selling one. This is a uh, SR strobe, but just like the strobe you just saw out there, it has Spanish lettering. Fuego, which I think is awesome. The box will freaking close. Sorry, that's kind of like a pet peeve of mine when people set down cameras. And last, I have a System Sensor PC4R I'll be keeping. And there's also a uh, SP2 
W1224 MC, I think it is. It's a speaker strobe like this, except it's white in color, and it's multi candela that I'll be keeping. I, like I said, I have about 10 other alarms that are for sale. Um, I think three of them are ceiling mount. Um, I have a couple of weatherproof Spectral Alert Classic strobes. Um, all of this stuff is brand new in box. Most of them I'm just selling for 15 bucks, which is pretty reasonable, I think, for a brand new in box Spectral Alert. They all are snap lock except for one. When I say snap lock, by the way, let me just show you what I'm talking about for those of you that don't know uh, what snap lock is. First of all, I don't know where it went. I have a key ring with the removal tool. Basically what snap lock is, is this little opening here. Some of the older Spectre Alerts have a screw here, and you have to loosen the screw to pull this off the back plate. With this, there's just a tool you shove in there, and it pops right off. Makes installation a breeze. If you got to service it for some reason, it makes it a breeze. It just makes your life so much nicer. So all but one of the ones I'm selling has that feature. And the one that does not have snap lock, I think, is a fixed 110 candela weatherproof strobe. So anyways, that stuff will be for sale probably for like the next two weeks. And then I'll be pulling it off eBay. The reason why, please watch my new job video. It will explain what's going on. Um, and basically, once I have this new job... For the first couple of months, I won't be able to have stuff on eBay, and that video explains why. So, that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Sorry the video is 12 minutes long, and uh, hopefully you guys will be seeing some new videos from me soon. That's it for now. Bye.